So Todd Howard recently had an interview with the Kind of Funny Games podcast where we got some new and very interesting information on mods. So they asked a question that speaking of content, you've always been supportive of mods. Is there anything in previous games that you've seen from the community that's impressed you and moving forward, are you excited to put mods into this game? And Todd Howard's answer was, I think Starfield is going to be kind of a modder's paradise. It's part of our DNA here. We've been doing it for over 20 years because we've usually been classically single player that has been our community and people are still modding our games and playing them so we're doing a lot of it one of the things that i'll call out is it's important for us to not just enable that but to participate to make it easy for them to make this not just a hobby but a career we've had a lot of success there looking forward to seeing what everybody's going to do with starfield and this statement also goes along with the long running theory that starfield is going to have some sort of modding marketplace because todd howard has mentioned multiple times times that they want to enable modders to make modding more of a career instead of just a hobby. And with some other leaked information, a lot of people have theorized that there would be this modding marketplace. But even just besides that, the way modding has been talked about for Starfield, I think has been almost a little bit different than a lot of their previous games. And I might be reading a little bit too much into this, but it seems to me that Bethesda has bigger plans for modding with Starfield. Not only this theory about the marketplace, and allowing modders to make this more of a career, but this could also extend to things like having the creation kit for Starfield being released earlier, putting more work into the creation kit to allow mods to be much more easily made, and just at the back end, building Starfield as a game with a lot of modding in mind, so making a lot of their procedural generation have a much easier time being used by these modders to create a ton of just ridiculous content. And I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I think Starfield is going to be the most modded game in gaming history. And unless Starfield comes out and is absolute trash, I don't think any other game is going to come even close to the amount of mods Starfield is going to have and the size of mods that Starfield is actually going to get. I fully expect that within like a year of modding support being added, that we'll probably have a multitude of pretty extensive game overhauls, adding in ridiculous amounts of content or even fully overhauling the game to an existing IP, such as having a full Star Wars overhaul, a full Warhammer 40k overhaul, or even having things like adding a full game onto a singular planet. Because if some mod team out there wanted to, they could potentially add the entirety of Skyrim to a singular planet in Starfield. And from some recent community information I've seen, it's seeming that Starfield is using the same scaling model as previous Bethesda titles, one singular planet would work perfectly for adding the entirety of a Bethesda game onto that one planet. And even looking past just these massive overhaul mods, there is so much opportunity for smaller mods to extend the gameplay in Starfield. There could be extensions and additions to the outpost system that basically allows you to build any settlement anywhere. There could just be massive additions to this, having different themed building sets, allowing you to build in new ways, and even a little extension on that, I'm fully expecting a mod at some point to expand upon the outpost system, allowing you to create your own space stations out in space and fully customize them like you could an outpost on the surface of a planet. There's going to be massive upgrades to the weapon modding system, adding in just tons of different weapons from any other game or any other time period you could think of. There's probably going to be full survival mods, turning the game into just this massive survival crafting game with tons of different elements you have to track at all times, like oxygen and health and injuries. And then there could be massive upgrades on the ship building system, even extending the outpost system into ship building to basically allow you to create massive flying ship customizable bases on them. There's basically an infinite amount of possibility in the modding of Starfield, even much more so than any other previous Bethesda title. And to end off this video, I saw one of the most interesting mod possibilities where someone could build all the different Iron Man suits 
suits, but then apply the power allocation system from the ships in Starfield into the Iron Man suits to allow that ship combat minigame to be used in these Iron Man suits and having this be like a hybrid of your ship and ground combat, which is an incredibly interesting idea that I fully want to try out now. But it's safe to say if you're excited for Starfield and you're excited to continue to play Starfield years down the road, the modders are going to make sure you have pretty much infinite content. So that's all I want to go over. So thanks for watching.